Hey guys, this is Daniel from Colorado Bank Fishing again. So I'm gonna show you two knots. The two knots that I think that I'm gonna use when I'm out in the field, uh, out fishing. Uh, pretty much the Palomar knot to get any of your hooks or um, your crankbaits or anything onto your line. So that's the Palomar. And then the FG knot. So I've done a little bit of research and I've tied it a couple hundred times now. Um, essentially that's gonna take my braid to my fluorocarbon um, you know, I'm planning on a 910 foot fluorocarbon leader to a, I actually got a 50 pound braid, which I know is overkill, but I don't, I really don't know how much brush and everything I'm going to run into. I have one pole, so I went ahead and went large, uh, braids the new thing and it's really working for a lot of people. So braid to a, uh, I think I did a 20 pound fluorocarbon, um, technology is really great compared to what it used to be. So. I'll go ahead and show you. We'll start with the Palomar knot real quick and then we'll go to the FG knot. So pretty much I grabbed some old mono that was on my old pole there and a uh, little hook here. First one's the Palomar. Palomar is fairly simple. Feed your line through depending on the, the size of the eye in your hook and then you feed it back through the other way. Uh, pretty much I've I just suggest practicing your knots before you get out there but um, you make a pretty good loop. So you got a pretty good loop there. Hold on to your ends and you pretty much do just a regular knot. Let me get better in front of the camera here. Pretty much you just do a regular knot, except you don't complete it. So you take your loop, you loop it through, it's still holding on to your two ends, pull it a little tight and you go around your hook. That's it then you just pull it tight. So what that does is it pretty much puts a double knot around your the eye of your hook there. And of course you're supposed to wet this down a little. And you just pull it tight. So let's see if I can get my camera to focus in on that a little bit. Nope. Not working for me there. So there you go. Plain and simple. So that is the Palomar. So easiest thing to do again, you know, you chop off your tag in there and it's pretty much a double knot on your hook. So very tight, a lot of people use it. Uh, only complaint that I've heard is you have a pretty good tag end, depending on how big you make your loop, but it's been a very really tight knot. It really holds its stuff. So next we'll work on the FG knot. All right, so this is the FG knot. FG knot is designed for taking your main line, say your braid, this is pretty much, this is not braid, this is just some line uh, twine that I have, but I, it's for demonstration purposes, and this is some old mono, but pretend it's floral garbon and your braid. So how do you get the two lines together? Best one that I saw here was the FG knot. Uh, I tied some other knots, tried to pull as tight as I could, um, FG definitely held up a little bit better and was actually pretty small. So, um, so let's try it. So essentially, pretend this one's going out to the rest of my the pole and the rest of my reel. So essentially, you want to put a little tension on it. So how you do that is you know you put your pole on the ground or have something off the side of the wherever you're tying. If you're out in the field, obviously you can use the the pole and lean it away from you to get your tight line. So I'm going to try to do this. Essentially, you put the, the braid end just between your teeth. And so I'm gonna talk a little funny the rest of the time here. You take your, your uh, fluorocarbon and you get a nice good end on it. Something to work with. You're gonna pretty much wrap around about 20 times and then finish it off. So essentially keep your line tight and you just wrap from an underneath motion, underneath on one side, then underneath on the other side. So let's see if we can do it here. All right, so we go under one way and then pull it tight, grab it from underneath on the other side, pull it tight and just do that. This is about the what, third time here. It's three, four, five, six. E each time you pull it tight, so there's seven, eight, 
10. So we got 10 more. And of course, the more you do this, the tighter your knot's gonna be, because it's braiding them together. And that's four, five, six, there's seven, and eight. Oh, eight, nine, come around here, finish it off. 10, all right, now you can drop your, the tension on your line. So then have your both ends pointed towards your reel, take your braid and just tie a simple knot so it doesn't go anywhere. So just tie a simple knot to keep the line from going anywhere and cinch that up to the rest of your knot. So now, what you can do is you can pull your ends so you can tighten them nice and tight and then what I've been told is pretty much cut your tag end from your mono or from your uh, you know floral carbon so let me cut that real quick here cut that tag in pretty much as close as you can get and then tie, and this is optional, um, I think it's probably better, tie a couple more regular knots, real nice and tight. And what that does is that kind of covers up that little bit of a tag. Tie it a little bit tighter there. There you go. Cinch it up. Cut off the rest of your tag end here from your braid. And there you go. You have a nice FG knot that is super tight, super thin, goes through your leads on your, your rod no problem, nothing to scratch, nothing to tear up, and it is a tight knot. I mean, I was playing with this. Um, Essentially, I would just practice and practice and practice. I don't know how many of these I've actually tied, but just so that I can get out there in the field and tie it and won't have an issue. So that is pretty much the FG knot. It puts your line together, no problem. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that was the Palomar and the FG knot, the only two knots that I really plan on using for now. If I really need some others, I will do some research, but basic, basic fishing, uh, Palomar and FG knot, thanks.